What's going on you guys? It's your boy Z or whatever and you knew who it was when you clicked the motherfucking video. Wherever it's at, you know it can take it. But um, let me stop. <laughs> Alright you guys, so it's been a minute since I did this type of video. Um, this is Twitter questions part four. I feel so confident that I kept this going for you guys. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos that I have been making for you guys. Um, it's been an absolutely amazing thing because I love doing this. Like, especially in my free time when I don't have nothing else to do. This is just like, uh, you know. So I decided to come back again with the Twitter questions. Um, because I knew that I have a lot of videos that I have out right now. And I was like, I'm tired of uploading the same thing. Let me see something that I haven't uploaded yet. Haven't did the Twitter questions, so... I'm gonna go ahead and put those two questions back out there again so you can know who your boy is. Cause you know it's your boy T or whatever and you knew who it was. And you... What the fuck is that on my wall? What is that? Oh my god. Bitch, what is that? I'm scared. What is that? It was some tape, okay. Cause the way it looks from here doesn't look like that. But <laughs> I mean, that scared me a little bit. Um, but anyway, you guys, if you haven't did it already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I know I say it all the time, and I really don't see, you know, my subscribers going up, but I do see them increasing, you know, little by little. But um, yeah, make sure you keep sharing my videos, liking them, and you know, telling your family members and all that, okay? Because. I'm with y'all. I'm the enjoyment that y'all need in y'all life, so. And I'm very relatable to a lot of people, so I know y'all want to see me. And of course, as always, I have coffee. <laughs> um, let's see if it's let's see if it's made right. It ain't got enough sugar in it, but I'll take it. Or whatever. I look so good right now with this light. Eh! Let's go ahead and get into the video. My name is Markway Robertson. My first name actually came from my mom. She made it up. Um, she actually thought when she spelled it out or wrote it down on the paper, she thought the way that she wrote it was how people were gonna pronounce it. When you first look at my name, you would think my name is the Marquis. Um, I get that all the time. Or the, um, the Marqua. And for one, bitch, don't do that. Um, I hate when people mispronounce my name, though, like, for real. Because sometimes it'd be like, if I done told you my name, don't, don't mispronounce it again. If I done told you, you know what I'm saying? My zodiac sign is a Taurus. That's what, and I don't, know why my, I don't know why it looks crooked, like my arm looks crooked, but um, I'm a Taurus, um, May 12th, 1994, where my Taurus is at, and low-key Aries and low-key Geminis, what's up? I, I fucks with y'all a little bit, <laughs> even though y'all ain't a Taurus, but okay. This person in my life, oh my god, the closest person in my life right now would have to be my best friend, Shakia Flowers, and my friend, des best friend, Dez, and my cousin, Tiffany. Them to be the closest people. And my, of course, my my mom, but, because a lot of people I don't really talk to like that on a regular basis. So, yeah. Basically, I would say to my family members, some of my family members, and my friend, Shakia and Dez, and my cousin. That's it. That's the only people that are, like, the closest to me. My friend Brittany from New York, um, that is my baby. I love her to death. Like, I missed her so much. Like, we, when she came back down here, I mean, we, we saw each other when she first moved back down to North Carolina. Um, but I missed her so much. Like, she was the only person, like, when I was in middle, no, high school, it was freshman year, and I, like, everybody know me, I was never a talker. So... I really didn't think I was going to make any friends or, like, talk to people, you know, first day, second day, anything like that. But, um, she was so sweet. Like, her, she just gave me so much love. Like, she comforted me and took me in as if, like, I was her brother. 
So I loved her for that. Um, but my friend Brittany from Bronx Barb is what I called her growing up. <laughs> um, she's an amazing person. Like, even though I don't talk to her on a regular basis, like, we talk. Like, we, if we, you know, say something, we say something. But I love her. Like, she's the type of person that I would, I don't, regardless if we don't speak every single day, she is my friend. Like, I put that on everything. Like, before anybody else was in the picture, she was my main friend. Um, she was mad supportive from the beginning of everything that I did. She was always supportive, so I really and truly love her for that. And, um, I understand now that we're older, of course, you know, we may not be able to... Hey, what's up, hey? I know we ain't gonna get to that point like that a lot, because, for one, she's a... Before I even say anything else, I want to congratulate you, babe, okay? I love you so much. You are definitely motivating me as a person to continue to do what I do and be who I am. Um, because she she's doing a lot of things that normal people wouldn't even begin to do at this time. I, and I really appreciate her as my friend. Like, I'm proud of her. Um, everything she's going through and doing right now, I love her. And, you know, shout out to her, her relationship. I mean, I wish I was in one so I could be the same way, but I love y'all. Um, but y'all gotta, I haven't met him yet, so you gonna have to, like, see what's up. Because you can't just, you can't just be dating people and, like, you can't, your best friend don't know who he is. <laughs> in 10 years, I will be 33 years old. What the fuck? In 10 years, I um, really hope and pray that I am in a place in life where I'm stable. I don't have to, you know, worry about this, worry about that. And I'm hoping and praying that I'm in a place where I can live my life and don't have to have no regrets with it. Um, I see myself taking more trips, hopefully. Well, you know, hopefully, because I always love taking trips. So, taking trips, getting my money... And, um, becoming bigger on here. Like, I really want to see myself as a mogul. I really want to see somebody who can start from nothing, who have nothing, and just, like, bam, just jump up there. Because that's how a lot of people start off. They don't start off with a lot of, you know, major people behind them. So I want to get to the point where I have somebody behind me or see myself on a TV screen. That is my goal. I really want to be on TV. And I really want to be in, like, a magazine. So, modeling is definitely in my looks and passion. So, anybody that knows anybody that do some pictures, what's up with the pictures? Um, and I haven't uploaded them yet, but I got some pictures for y'all that I took. <laughs> a little mini photo shoot I did. <laughs> Never trust a motherfucker who lies consistently. You cannot trust a bitch like that. Or a nigga. Who does that? You cannot trust a bitch or a person and be politically correct. A person that if they weave and they tracks you showing, you can't, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot trust them because if they could walk out of the house with their hair looking like that, then they don't give two f about life. You can't trust a person like that. You can never trust a motherfucker who has multiple people in their phones. Hmm. No shade. You can never trust a person that say they love you, but want to hurt you. You know, that's a lot to think. That's that. Mm, that's going around a lot. I need. I got to get off this subject because I'll be going for days about. Mm -mm, no, no, no. Let's go to the next question. I would have to say Bryson Triller because Tiller. What if I got say Triller? Shout out to that, too. I made a trailer video. But, um, I have to say about some trailer because I don't really fuck with Party Next Door. Like, the only song that I heard from them was the song they did with Big Sean, Deserve It. That was the only song, the only really song that I heard of them. I don't really listen to them. But, yeah. I really don't need to listen to Bryson Tiller like that, either. But I give him the benefit of the doubt with this situation. Now you knew that you know I'ma choose Beyonce. Beyonce. 
Shout out to Beyonce. Um, congratulations on the twins. I cannot wait to meet my little my little bundles of joy. Um, cause you know Beyonce is my mother, low key. So like, those are my siblings, and I cannot wait to meet them. Um, but yes, yeah, Beyonce, Rihanna, who? Rihanna, what? No, sorry. Eh, Beyonce all day every day. Who the fuck told you? Otherwise. <laughs> okay, if somebody cheats on me, um. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Bitch, too competitive game. If you want to cheat, I can cheat too. Just like um, Tony Romidity said, if I'm a dog, you a dog too. So, bitch, you cheat, I might cheat too. Just don't be mad. And Tiffany Fox said it too. She said, um, if I cheat on you sometime, that doesn't make me a whore. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't, if I cheat, I cheat. <laughs> Cause if you cheated on me, then obviously you didn't give a fuck about me, so I'm not gonna, not gonna give a fuck. I mean, cause, okay, it's other people in the world. I always have my eye on somebody else anyway. <laughs> Let me stop, cause I, I don't do that. But, um, if you cheat on me, you're lost. Like, cause I'm not gonna continue to stay with you. I'm not, I'm not like some of y'all. Well, I just love them so much. I don't give a fuck what love. What is love? Oh, okay. Bullshit. That's what it is. That's a tough one. Um, I would have to say honesty. No, loyalty. I want you to be loyal to me. Like, fuck, you can lie to me, but make me feel secure that what you're telling me, even if you're lying to me, make me feel like, oh, bitch, that's they don't give a fuck about it. I know they, I know they lying. I know that because you showing me that you really, you know, about me. Now, some people, no shade, that's in my phone long right now. I can't, I don't, I don't even have, like, I don't put you in, like, my head, like, oh, yes, I trust them 100%. No, I don't give a, I don't, mm -mm, I don't. But I would protect, I want loyalty. Like, be loyal to me. Just, you don't even have to, you can, like I said, you can lie to me all you fucking want to. But as long as I know for facts that you're down for me, in the end, we good. Like, don't tell no lies. Just, just be honest. You can be honest. But, you know, keep everything like you for me. Don't make me feel like that there is somebody else. Like, if you make me feel like there's somebody else, then I'm gonna just like... You're going to get the little silent treatment that I give everybody else who want to try to do me over. You get the good old silent treatment of don't get a text back. So don't, please don't get to that point of where you don't get a, um, you don't get anything back from me, okay? Mm -hmm. Most attractive thing to me would have to be, um, a personality. Like, people personality. Like, that is the thing that I really attract to first. Like, if, if we can, if we talking and we kind of, like, vibe, like, we seem similar, I'm already going to love you because I'm going to feel like if they could take a joke, we can joke like this, we can say this, we can say that, and it's, it's a laughing matter and nobody is very serious about what they're saying, you can be bae. Like, because that's all I look for. Well, I don't want a relationship. I told my mother the other night, I don't want a relationship. I don't, I don't think relationships are for me. I can date, but I don't want a relationship. But, um, I think that's the most thing I'm attracted to is somebody's personality. I'm not like a lot of people, oh, well, I'm attracted to their eyes, I'm attracted to their lips. I mean, uh, I mean, I do like them, but you can be beautiful as fuck, but your personality is a bull, like a bitch, and I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't, you could be the sexiest bitch on the motherfucking planet, but if your attitude and your personality is on something else, I'm not gonna like you. Like, I'm gonna give you that... Bitch. Look, you know what I'm saying? I'm... No. You have to be cute. I'm sorry. You can't... You can't... You don't have to dress, because I don't know how to dress. I mean... But I'm still cute. <laughs> but, um... You can... We can always change that. Like... All it takes is to go to the store or go on, like, the, a website or something, and you be like, select um, outfits, 
style by outfit or something and they give your whole outfit listed down and you can click each individual thing add it to your cart and have it sent to your house there's your outfit so you got style now so a person who can continue to hold a conversation because i'm the type of person i really get bored after a while like i don't because i don't like feeling like it's an interrogation when you're in a relationship or talking to somebody i don't like to continue just Sending questions at the question at the question because I'm not, I'm the type of person I don't like to be on the phone I really don't because I feel like when you're on the phone you have to have a spark of conversation and I don't like being on the phone like I really would love to just text you what I have to say and of course you know when the day comes they're like yeah call me like what's up but I really don't like being on the phone people I really like to just sit down get my phone text away. And send my question because I feel like I can text it to you versus saying it to you out loud. Because if I say it to you out loud, I'm going to be nervous because I don't know what your response is going to be. And then it's going to be like, damn, she just left it at a text. So you could either block me or you could have just said, bitch, I don't want to answer your text right now. So, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm most um, interested in. Just being consistent. Be consistent and hold a conversation. That really will draw me into you. Perception with money, of course. But I'm not like a lot of people that I know, no shade, who, you know, everything on their mind. Oh, I gotta have money, gotta have money, gotta have money. No. Because the purpose of you to get your money is to build from which from the bottom up and get to the top. You can't just say, oh, I want to win some money and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this and do that. No, because once you do all that, you're gonna go broke. So, you need to have a plan versus just saying, oh, I'm going to go spend my money on this and go play my money on that. No, I'm, mm -mm. that's a lot of things going around now. As soon as you get some money, you want to go splurge. No, I'm not saying that I don't, I never did that. But, you know, at the moment, I have a new outcome in life. Like, I, I see myself going somewhere. So, I want to make sure that my money is straight. I don't want to just be spending money just to spend money because I have it. No, that ain't how it works. But yeah, my session is money and food. Money, food, and Nicki Minaj. <laughs> the dumbest thing I've ever done would have to be skipping class with some people in middle school. No shade. Um, but I feel like that's the dumbest thing to do. And the dumbest, also the th dumbest thing was to smoke um, weed, marijuana. Um, because I feel like, for one, with the, um, skipping school, or skipping class, because I never skipped school, I just, well, I, sometimes I didn't go to school, but, skipping class was my thing. I used, to, middle school, you can tell me nothing, like, I would never go to class. I'd be in the hallway every single day, in school suspension and all, um, but yeah, that was the dumbest thing, because, I mean, I still pass, but, um, I feel like, Skipping class is dumb because at the end of the day, you're only there to, for a couple of hours. It's not like you're there for like ever and you're not going to be in class that long. So, and you just just basically there to get your education, to know how to count money and stuff. Because a lot of people, you could tell they didn't go that far in school because they can't count. Mm. Mm. And also with the weed situation... The only reason that I really stopped was because it was a point in life where I was like, how am I going to get a job if I continue to do this? And that was the wake-up call for me. Like, bitch, you need to put that shit down. You don't, you don't even need that. Like, that's not even, that ain't even your personality. That's not even you. You know, but peer pressure is a motherfucker. And that's basically how that even, that's how that happened. Peer pressure. Like, everybody, come on, man, it's good. Just, just come with us all after school. Just come with us after school. Just come with us after school. And look. Oh, okay. DeMarque is a loving, caring, optimistic person. That's it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a sentence. That might be a fragment. Anyway, anyway, we used to learn the English fragments and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that's me. What sets me apart from everybody else is me, my personality. Like, everybody keeps telling me that I have a, a great spirit and personality. Like, when I be sharing my videos to some people that I don't even know, 
Like, they tell me, your personality is, like, amazing. And some people don't get me for, off the jump, but, you know, of course, when you continue to be around me, you will understand why I'm so wild and crazy all the time. Because a lot of people don't think that I'm, you know, funny. Okay, I'm glad you don't. Um, but at the same time, you laughing at my jokes when I say something funny. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, good. Thank you so much. But that's how it be. A lot of people don't really know or don't, um, really look at a person. They just see everything from the outside versus trying to get to know a person. And that's my thing with me. Like, I try to give people benefit of the doubt. But if I, like I said, if I don't vibe with you, I don't vibe with you. And that's how I be. If it was up to me, I would bring my brother back, my grandmother back, um, due to me not being able to see them or meet them in person. Um, and I'm, it's, it's kind of bad, though, like, to, you know, not be able to meet your own brother. Like, you couldn't see them physically. I mean, we was in the same womb, but, you know... That would be that would be my only thing. Like I would really want to bring my brother back and my grandmother because I never met them, and they're just and my um granddad because I think yeah because yeah I never met him either because that's yeah both yeah yeah I would like to bring them back to all of them like anybody that have lost let's put that that way if it was up to me every anybody that have lost over the years. I would like to bring them back, like, just to, just to, like, get a word from them, you know? And a lot of times, I'd be really hoping and praying that, like, that could possibly happen, but y'all know that can't. I mean, y'all need to make a scientific something. Y'all need to bring up, make something so that you could just, when a person say they're about to die, put something in them and they, hey, I'm back! You know, I want that. Like, I want, eh. can we, can we invent that? Maybe that's, ooh, I'm finna invent that. Better find something we can bring the people back to life. So as soon as they say they did, no, nope, bitch. How old are you? I'm 805. Bitch, you know, continue living all year long. You know, that's what I want. Cause I can't do deaths. I don't like deaths. I don't like seeing nobody just. No, I don't like that. I don't do deaths easily. I reside in North Cackalacky. You know what I'm saying, shouty. <laughs> but I'm no, I'm from North Carolina. Um, I'm actually from. Like a little town, um, outside of, um, if anybody knows North Carolina, Raleigh, and then there's, um, Nightdale. If people know where Nightdale is, that's me. Um, I'm in a little outskirt. Like, as soon as you go through Raleigh, you come to Nightdale, then after that, you just go through. Just, um, but yeah, that's where I reside. Alright, you guys, that includes the video on Twitter questions part four. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was a little fun video. I know it's probably a little bit long of me talking because I always talk too fucking much. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some little information about me and got a little more to get to know me. Because a lot of y'all think y'all know me so fucking well and do not. So, I just want to give y'all some interpretations of who I is and what I does, okay? Because y'all like y'all know me so motherfucking well. Like I say all the time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share my videos with your family. And make sure you turn on your notifications so that when I upload these videos every Tuesday, you will be the one to get it first before anybody else. Because other people, they probably won't, you know, won't come back. They only come when I, they think I share the video to them. So make sure you turn your little bell on. Um, watch my last video if you haven't seen it already. Go ahead and get some thumbs up. Um, share it with some of my, some of y'all favorite YouTubers. Like, tell them to check me out. Collaboration or no. Looking really good right now. And I really feel like... I just want to go out here and be... Damn, Zaddy. I want to be like that today. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Bye.